Well, what I had before I took Jedi was a great deal of technical training. Um, what stood out for me in terms of the Jedi course, however, was the, the introduction to the new technologies was used as an opportunity to revisit our teaching practices and to think about how to, to evaluate how we're teaching and why we're teaching the way we are and what assumptions are there and then what assumptions are built into the ways that we're using the technology. So in a way, getting the technical training in JEDI, even though I was experienced with a number of the technologies previously, was an opportunity to think about the relationship between instructional technologies and critical pedagogy, which really stood out for me in comparison to the previous technical training I had experienced. I did also really appreciate the opportunity to interact with my peers or colleagues across the university. Um, I've often found, uh, or often stated, <laughs> That within my department, with my program, we don't get a lot of teaching training that's built in. Um, it's more on, you know, whatever you can grab. If you have a mentor, a faculty mentor, who's an excellent teacher, and you have the opportunity to watch this teacher in action, you can then begin to model yourself on that. And I found that this was a problem across the university. In fact, in other departments, it was even more of a situation where students were thrown into teaching without any guidance without any mentorship and so it's absolutely terrific that the JEDI program was there both because of the class but also because of the relationships that students were able to build with each other in a way to mentor each other with their teaching experiences. Well um, in my teaching I teach both online classes and face-to-face -face classes and in my face-to-face -face classes um, they're always supplemented by instructional technology. So for instance um, in the semester that I was taking the JEDI course, I had my students uh, construct web pages um, about gender and technology, which was the topic of the course, as well as use the discussion boards um, extensively within Blackboard. The following semester, after really thinking about um, actually AOL Instant Messenger and hearing from Joan Watson about how she uses that in her online classes to create discussion spaces, I, in my face-to-face -face class, which was gender and science, replaced our Friday session with small group discussions over Instant Messenger about assigned readings. And I found that because we were just slotted for a 50-minute time slot three times a week, having this 50 minutes set aside each week for small group discussion really allowed the students to explore the readings and ask a lot of questions of each other that they didn't have the opportunity to ask in class. I was then able to review the transcripts of the chats and really learn where they were um, in the readings and also learn about more of their personal experiences both uh, in the class but also in their, you know, it was a class on gender and science, so learning about their experiences in science, which significantly helped me shape the discussions that took place in our face-to-face -face meetings.